been like this your whole trip? Uh, yeah. Sort of? Okay. Yeah, you got lucky. It rains almost every day here. As far as the catch you can experience. So you're kind of missing out, I guess. <laughs> no? Lots of the houses and businesses don't even use city water or well water. They just use the rainwater right off the rooftops. That's what my company does. And uh, one time we actually went several weeks without rain. That here is considered a drought. So we actually ran out of water and had to get it shipped in in a truck. That doesn't happen very often though. These ruins we're driving through. This is Ward Cove. That's a lumber mill. They used to process wood here and make paper.
Dead Sea. Up here on the right is the Thunderbird statue, kind of the mascot of the town, welcoming us with his best side. That statue there was carved by Mr. Jackson, the local totem pole master. And he carved that with red cedar, just like he does with his totem poles. You guys will get to see some totem poles where you're going. If you're lucky, you might even see Mr. Jackson carving today. He carves at that part. But his schedule is a little bit unpredictable. He carves whenever he'd like. Here on the left, we're going to pass by the Welcome to Ketchikan sign. And it's all shut down now. Now the main source of income for the island here is you guys, the tourists. Here on the left they've got a totem pole with an eagle on top. And out here on the left we're about to pass by Creek Street. I'll slow down for you so you can get a good view. It's a whole section of the town built on stilts over the water. That's where the red light district was, where they had all their prostitution and stuff. It's all been changed now. It's just a bunch of gift shops and restaurants and things. <laughs> 